Well, hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top 10 favorites from the brand CauseRx. I know you all really love this series where I go through major skincare brands and share with you my top 10 favorites. I have all of these videos in a playlist called Top 10, so if you wanna check out other brands that I've covered, by all means, binge away. CauseRx is a brand that I discovered a few years ago shopping on iHerb. iHerb is sponsoring today's video. If you're not familiar with iHerb, well, I guess you have never watched any of my videos because you guys who follow me know I have a bit of an addiction to shopping on iHerb. Why, you might ask? Well, iHerb Beauty offers the greatest value overall for beauty and wellness products. Something about shopping on iHerb, it brings about this joy and excitement to discovering something new, no matter what your budget is. Their philosophy is that every customer deserves quality regardless of the price. Uh, your budget should not dictate the quality of the products that you get, and when it comes to beauty, you should feel like a million bucks. Shopping for skincare on iHerb to me is a no-brainer. They offer thousands of beauty and wellness products from around the world, and they ship to over 180 countries. Their quality guarantee is unprecedented and their customer service is top notch. I've been a customer for going on five years now. One of the coolest things about iHerb Beauty, in my opinion, is that they really are a one-stop shop for all of your global beauty needs. They have products from the US, Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Finland, and the UAE. I know y'all share my enthusiasm for K-Beauty and J-Beauty, and you can get all of your K-Beauty and J-Beauty products on iHerb. Get a good sip in. As always, I will link all of these products down below in the description box, so if anything piques your interest, definitely check there. Now, CauseRx, if you're not familiar, is a Korean skincare brand that is cruelty-free, which I know is very important to many of you, and so definitely check this brand out if you are in the market for some good skincare products. All right, product number one was my gateway to this brand. It's their Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. I started using this several years ago, and it is a favorite. It calls itself a mask, but I'll tell you what it actually is a moisturizer. It's a nice lightweight uh, moisturizing cream that absorbs very quickly. It's not greasy, it's not heavy. You can wear it as a nighttime mask, as you know, the marketing would imply that you should. It also actually works pretty well. Uh, if you're somebody who wakes up in the morning with dry skin, you like to put on a moisturizer first, allow it to sink into the skin, and then put sunscreen on over it, this would be a great choice. It's not greasy whatsoever. The key ingredient, obviously, from the name in this product is rice extract. Now, rice is a wonderful ingredient in skincare. It's rich in carbohydrates that actually help add hydration to the skin. It has vitamins, minerals, uh, that can help with skin barrier recovery. Rice extracts also have inositol in them, which can help with skin elasticity and perhaps help in promoting healing and recovery. It's a very good ingredient. It, rice water and rice extract also can help calm down irritation and inflammation. There are some studies that suggest that rice is a good ingredient in skincare for people with eczema. It has a healing component to it. This is a great product if you're somebody dealing with dryness and irritation. It's also good if you have a baseline oily acne prone skin. This product should not aggravate that for you. It's also good if you have um, a lot of irritation going on from topicals. It's just a really nice lightweight moisturizer. One thing that CauseRx does better than anyone, in my opinion, is their snail filtrate products. They have two fantastic ones. You guys are like, oh God, snail. I have videos talking about the benefits of snail filtrate and skincare products. It's rich in humectants, which can add hydration to the skin. There are studies that suggest that it facilitates healing. It's been looked at, for example, in the setting of radiation dermatitis. Patients with, with cancer going through treatment uh, with radiation, they can develop you know, skin problems, and uh, snail filtrate has been shown to, to promote healing. Um, you'll see snail products on the market that are kind of pricey, but CauseRx is pretty affordable. Their advanced snail 96 mucin power essence should not go ignored. It has 96% of the snail filtrate. 
Um, and you know, I mentioned that's gonna be rich in humectants. It's also gonna have, one, one other thing that snail filtrate has, I didn't mention is zinc, which is anti-inflammatory. So you have that in there. Um, and the other thing in this product besides the snail filtrate, it has panthenol, which I'm gonna talk about in a lot of these products, but panthenol is a humectant and it also can help calm down inflammation. So it helps add hydration and reduce irritation. And the product also has arginine, an amino acid that can help with barrier repair. This particular product, I actually don't have it um, here, but you can buy it on iHerb. Uh, I've reviewed it for you guys in detail before, but it has a nice viscosity to it. You can just pat it on the skin after cleansing while the skin is still damp, and then apply moisturizer on over it. So it really, you know, you need something on top to seal in that hydration and those beneficial factors, but it is a great product. As a matter of fact, I have tried um, a very expensive snail product, um, Biopel, uh, you know, medical grade, and it pales in comparison to the improvement in smoothness, hydration, reduction in irritation that you get with the CauseRx Snail 96 Mucin. So if you are thinking about snail, try this out. Cruelty-free, affordable. So that would be my number two. And then my number three, piggybacking off of all of those talking points would be, and I've reviewed this for you guys before, the um, Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. In contrast to the Essence, this has 92% snail filtrate versus 96, whoopie doo. I mean, it's not like you're really missing out that much um, there in, in terms of that. But really where this differs is that this is an all-in-one moisturizer. It has dimethicone in it, which is a nice lightweight silicone that actually helps trap in hydration. So it kind of can seal in seal in those hydrating factors to put the brakes on transepidermal water loss. My one gripe with this product, uh, this is a new tub of it, is that you gotta be careful. I have dropped this, uh, dropped a tub of this before in my bathroom and that was a mess. So that would be kind of my one complaint about it is the packaging, but you can see, I mean, check out that viscosity there. Um, this is really nice. You can just apply it to damp skin after cleansing, similar to the Essence. You could pair this with the Essence, although, you know, and I'm not sure that's necessary. Um, but this, unlike the Essence, you can just use alone. You don't need to put a moisturizer on over it. You might choose to use another moisturizer on over it, but really just, you know, by itself, it's quite good. It's very lightweight, even though it looks, you know, like something that would feel oily. It's not whatsoever. And it absorbs into the skin fairly quickly, adds a lot of hydration. It's a great choice <clears throat> for people who have oily skin that you know you might describe as dehydrated. And for me, that really just means somebody who has oily skin that maybe is going through a lot of irritation and peeling, they need to add hydration to the skin, but they don't want something greasy that's gonna exacerbate their baseline oily appearing skin. Uh, this would be a good choice to consider, especially if you are entertaining, uh, you know, introducing snail into your routine. Definitely check out my videos going into the benefits of snail and skincare products. You know, I know it sounds like something that would be traumatic to the snails, but in fact, it's actually not uh, the process of collecting the filtrate because if the snails were traumatized in any way, that actually compromises the quality of the snail filtrate and in fact can potentially contaminate it if they are at all traumatized. So they're actually, you know, not harmed in any way in the collection of the filtrate. A few years ago, there was a product that Cosrx had that I loved and recommended in a lot of videos. It was their PHA um, uh, Renewal Cream. I, it appears as though they've done away with that. I, you know, I looked on their website specifically and you know, it's not on iHerb anymore. So it appears as though they've discontinued that. Now, PHA stands for polyhydroxy acids. I have a video explaining the benefits of that in skincare products, but to remind you, polyhydroxy acids are a group of ingredients that add hydration to the skin, but also very, very gently exfoliate the skin and help with skin cell turnover. They are an exfoliating ingredient that people with very sensitive skin actually can tolerate and benefit from using. So if you're somebody who's got like rosacea, for example, and you really are looking to exfoliate dry, built up, d dull appearing skin, try polyhydroxy acids. Now, even though they discontinued that product, uh, one that uh, I have recommended in several videos that has polyhydroxy acid in it and is fantastic. As a matter of fact, I would go as far as to say that this particular product, the Triple Hyaluronic Acid Moisture Ampule, 
Not only does it have hyaluronic acid, it, it actually it has three forms of hyaluronic acid. It has sodium hyaluronate, a salt of hyaluronic acid, it has hyaluronic acid, and it has hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. So you get you know a little bit of variable sizes to really get that hydration in there. But it's also got the polyhydroxy acids to you know simultaneously along with the HA really glom onto the water in the skin to hydrate up that stratum corneum, smooth out the appearance of wrinkles and fine lines. And then the polyhydroxy acids also work to exfoliate any dull, built up dry stuff extremely gently, minima, you know, without irritation. Love this product. Now, this product is something that you apply to the skin after cleansing while it's still damp so that those wonderful humectants they can get into the stratum corneum, hold onto the water. And then you wanna apply a moisturizer on over it. You know, I mentioned this product earlier. You could apply this on over it. This is what I would call a moisturizer. It really can help in sealing in that hydration and reducing what's called transepidermal water loss. But you don't, you don't wanna just use this by itself because uh, it can dry a little filmy without the, without the moisturizer on over it. All right, product number five is one that personally I love and I was a little on the fence about including it in this video because it does have an ingredient in it that I think can cause uh, some issue for people, actually two ingredients. Now the Moisture Power Enriched Cream has, um, it's part of their Hydrium line. The ingredient in this that gives me pause is coconut oil. Coconut oil, I have a whole video on the benefits of coconut oil in skincare. It's wonderful for people with eczema. It's actually been shown to help eczema, but unfortunately it is an ingredient that actually is associated with aggravation of acne, especially for people who have you know, acne on their, around their mouth area, and maybe they're using a coconut oil-based lip balm. We see that a fair amount. It's not, you know, a definitive association, but we, you know, people report it enough that it always gives me pause to recommend. Um, anyways, so it has coconut oil, be wary of that. It also has propolis in it, or propolis extract. And propolis is a ingredient from uh, that bees uh, rich in antioxidants and things that are actually beneficial for the skin, but people can and do become allergic to that ingredient. It's, it's actually relatively common to develop an allergy to it. But it's got ceramides in it, which you know are good for the skin barrier. It's just a nice moisturizing cream. It's a little richer than the um, than the uh, overnight spa mask. But this is another good moisturizer that you could use to seal in some of these lightweight serums that, I've, you know, that I'm mentioning here where I say you need to put a moisturizer on over it. This would work really well. And it's just, it absorbs pretty quickly. It's, it's richer though than the spa mask. So it's really a, you know, maybe a better choice for people who have more dry, a more dry skin type, mature skin and less oiliness as opposed to the spa mask, but both would be a good choice. All right, so this Hydrium line, I've mentioned a few of the products, came out, was it last year? And I really you know, liked pretty much everything in the line. But one, another product that has stood out to me as being quite good uh, is the uh, Aqua Soothing Ampule. This has Centella in it. Now Centella is an ingredient that has been shown to be helpful for wound healing and repair. It's rich in it's got various types of antioxidants, something called triterpenoids. And so it's got you know benefit in terms of potentially fighting off free radical damage, facilitating repair and healing. In addition to the Centella, this process, process, this product also has Chondrus crispus extract in it. Now that's a marine extract uh, that, uh, you know, from like seaweed that really is good at holding um, onto water. It's a humectant. This is a product that you want to apply to the skin while it's still damp after cleansing. You can pat it in or rub it in, whatever your pre preference is. And you're, what you're gonna get from this product is an improvement in redness and irritation, reduction in dryness. And because it, it's packed with humectants, you're also gonna get you know, a smoothing out of wrinkles and fine lines. Truthfully, I'm not ever really clear on the difference between serum and ampule. I find, you know, in terms of viscosity, sometimes ampule is a little bit thicker than serum, but that varies tremendously. Regardless, this is a very thin product. You do need a moisturizer on top to really seal in those hydrating humectant 
uh, factors into the skin. So the Centella Aqua Soothing Ampule was the first Centella product from Cosrx that I tried. Really liked it, saw a reduction in irritation and dryness. They've since come out with a line called Pure Fit that is uh, all focused on Centella, and they have some great products in that line. And what's unique about the line is that they have something called Sika 7, basically seven um, derivatives, ingredients derived from, if you will, uh, Centella. So you have the Centella Asiatica, you have the Centella Root Extract, Centella Leaf Extract, and then they've isolated the different triterpenoid components as well. The, the triterpenoids are what are beneficial in Centella, but depending on how the extract is made, it may not actually be that robust. So th this particular product or line, they've isolated those and added them back, they added to them to the product in addition to the Centella extract. So you really get those beneficial ingredients in, in a more focused fashion. And the Pure Fit Sika cream is wonderful. They really did a good job with this. It's a great moisturizer for anyone looking, uh, you know, for a moisturizer. Consistency-wise, this is kind of similar. It's actually a little bit thicker uh, to the overnight spa mask, but it too absorbed really quickly, locks in that hydration into the skin, and I, you know, you get that healing beneficial properties of the of the Centella in this. Wonderful moisturizer. Then from the same line, you have the, from the Pure Fit line, you have their Sika Serum. This has the Sika 7, like the cream I just showed you. And so this is gonna give you those seven different um, components from Centella to really have intense focused uh, delivery, if you will, of those beneficial compounds. Pine bark extract also, which has pycnogenol in it, or is pycnogenol, and another antioxidant. The Sika Serum, however, does not have that Chondrus Crispus extract in it that the um, Centella Ampule has. So, you know, you kind of lose out on the beneficial components of the marine extract in this. It's really just purely focused on Centella. Um, so, you know, that's kind of how they differ, but honestly, I, you know, both of them yield good resu results in terms of reducing dryness and irritation, and both products are, are products that you want to apply to the skin while it's damp after cleansing, and then apply your moisturizer on over, but both, you know, are fantastic. Earlier, I shared with you guys a serum from them, the, um, triple moisture ampule that had hyaluronic acid and panthenol and, um, uh, polyhydroxy acids, but a similar product sans the polyhydroxy acids is their B5 uh, D -panth or panthenol ampules. I just love the packaging on these. First of all, they're like these little syringes. You know, you can put them, up, store them like that, and then it's basically a little syringe for you to dispense the product. I'll show you in a minute. But in the when you when you buy this, you actually get two. So, you know, you can keep one unopened for later use after you finish the first one. So I'll just show you guys here in terms of the consistency. It's a little thicker. That, and that one plunge puts out pretty much enough for you. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's, it's way too much for the top of my hand, but puts out really enough for you to pretty much get the majority surfaces of your face. You might wanna do another pump to also get your neck uh, and upper chest. These are good ingredients to put in those areas. They're moisturizing, hydrating, calm down irritation and inflammation. I always talk about how the skin around the neck, on the neck is so much thinner than the facial skin, more susceptible to irritation. You have to be careful with what ingredients you choose to put there. Uh, these moisturizing ingredients in the, these products they're all fine to use on the neck as a side note. This, this product, like the serums, is one that, again, you wanna to apply to the skin while it's damp, after cleansing, and then apply a moisturizer on over it. I've shared many good moisturizers up until this point, but the number 10 product uh, from Cosrx that actually comes from this Balanesium line and is of a similar consistency to the Sika cream is actually the Balanesium B5 D Panthenol Cream. Love this, it's got, uh, you know, obviously Panthenol in it, 
It also has hydrolyzed glycosaminoglycans, which are gonna be helpful for, they're, they're just basically humectants, so they're gonna be helpful for hydration. It has sunflower seed oil as an emollient, very nice, comfortable to wear moisturizer for sealing in hydration and deriving the benefit of that panthenol. The B5 line, the Balanesium B5 line products, the ampule and or the um, uh, cream, they're really good if you have dry eczema prone skin, good for rosacea, so those are my top 10 from COSRX. Love this brand, these are my favorites. And you know, you gotta be careful though. Some of the products, they do have some irritating ingredients. I try and encourage you guys to avoid those that have tea tree oil in them or fragrance, uh, just because those are more likely, and those are ingredients that are more likely to cause irritation. And some of them have, have those, some of their products have those ingredients, obviously not what was mentioned here. But yeah, definitely, you know, if there's another product out there that you're wondering about from COSRX, definitely read the ingredient list very carefully. But these that I've mentioned here, they're very good if you have dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, you're looking for a moisturizer or, you know, a hydrating serum. Now that we're going into winter time, especially, you, you know, you may be wanting to really focus more on your moisturizing routine with the humidity dropping, you're more likely to have dry skin. If you have mature skin too, you know, or you know, you're new to having mature skin, you're finding that the moisturizers that you used in the past are not quite cutting it, consider some of these products. They're, they can be, you know, very helpful for adding hydration. And if you're some unfortunate soul out there who is dealing with a lot of irritation of peeling, maybe you went overboard with some skincare products, these products, especially those with Centella, are very good for calming that down and helping facilitate healing and recovery. I hope you guys like this video. Definitely check out the description box if you're interested in any of these products. I will have them all linked down below. And thank you iHerb for sponsoring today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.